Yo. Sorry, that was a little bit laggy there. <laughs> or at least for me, I was like waiting for it to um, start and then my game kind of froze. Hi! How are we today? So, yeah, I finished off this lot. Um, I think I... Oh yeah, I talked about that already, didn't I? Anyway, I started this guy over here. Um, he's gone all the way to the bottom. You can see that I've died a few times. Once there, once here, once over there. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. Um, never leave this open if you're just gonna AFK here because the angry zombies will come in. Uh, one creeper actually came in here and he blew up this little area. Um, so I lost a whole bunch of my cobblestone but that's okay. Managed to get everything else back into the chest, reset it all up, <sighs> and now um, creeper damage is off again, so that was something that I forgot. Not a fan of the uh, the creeper damage. Anyway, so I've got a whole bunch of resources now, I feel pretty, um, pretty confident in that, I'm probably going to end up using these diamonds. Because I can turn, like with the minium stone that's from Aquilin Exchange, I can turn gold into diamonds now. So I can probably get about four diamonds from there. Yeah. Four... No, five... five diamonds? Uh, my brain. Anyway, four fives. Yeah, five diamonds. Okay. Um, and look how much iron we've got. We've got tons of iron, so if we need to make gold anyway, we've got a ton of it there. All sorts of junk in here. Um, I ended up having to make a... Uh, we'll get another barrel out for obsidian. I always have issues trying to spell obsidian. I keep thinking it's D-E-O-N. It's not good. I have a lot of aluminium. I have almost al- well, I have more aluminium. 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 Um, I have more aluminium than iron right now. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I just don't see myself using that much. I mean, it makes aluminium, which you can turn into aluminium cans, which, you know, you can put water and lava in there, etc, etc. But I just don't see myself using that many. Like, it might be good if I'm creating a whole bunch of, um, what's it called? The upgrade ones. Where's my bucket? I think I left it behind. Um, and very, very slowly, this thing's been working on the rest of the iron that I put in there, and then now it's working on copper. I managed to get some um, pulverized gold dust from that, so that was magical. Um, that seems a little bit loud to me. No, that's music. What are you doing? You're drunk. Give me your keys. Uh, but yes, so things have been happening. Um, well, not a lot of things. Mostly I just AFK'd there while I watched YouTube videos, but... Uh, yes, it's going to be lots good. So, if you weren't watching my last video, um, the idea behind this world, like, it, it's good when you start a world to actually have a plan. I didn't really have that much of a plan when I started the last one, I just kind of wanted to build things. Uh, I have a plan. I want this house to be like the secret entrance to a Bond cave. You know, like Bond's, um, or is it Bond? Maybe it's like Batman, I suppose that might be the better kind of thing. Um, you know, there'd be like a secret button here, it would open up some kind of thing that went down here, you'd fall down here. I've just got ladders here because, you know, I kind of need my ladders. Um, and then, you know, there would be a nice little cart here, it would take you around on this little roller coaster trip and all sorts. I'm going to be doing a lot of that off camera. Um, have all sorts of crazy pathways. Most of it will probably go up and like around it and whatnot, but... The idea is that you'll end up, you know, into the cave in some kind of obscure position, and yeah, yeah, it would be great. It would be great, trust me. Um, but what I was just waiting on was all the resources. Mainly just because I want to create some more turtles. I've been getting into programming a few things now. Um, if I can go grab my turtle. I made one really, really basic program, uh, and the reason why I did this it was a type of refueling program. If you've... Oh, I didn't get my bucket, did I? That's why I came out there. Um, if you've ever, you know, gotten frustrated at how much coal it uses, 
All I ended up doing was getting a bucket, filling it with lava, and then putting it into the turtle, typing in refuel, doing that over and over again. I decided I didn't want to do that anymore. Wait, was the... Oh, I probably... Damn it. The bucket was the thing that I lost. I know I lost something. Um, but yes, so I wrote a program. The idea behind this program was that it would just refuel all the time. <laughs> Like, just while it's that program is running, it will keep trying to refuel from that one spot. If it can't refuel, then it just waits. Um, and when it can refuel, then it does. Uh, so, bucket there. And craft. Here we go. Bucket. Um, this was part of the reason why I wanted to pick that up. Uh, then the other part of the reason was place this. So, I know that not not all of you will be that interested in it, but I am. I'm kind of proud of this. So, ls, um, let's see, edit, keep, refuel, and it's just while well, true. So, basically, it's just an easy way for me to keep it running all the time. Um, if the turtle is able to refuel, then, you know, it will, well, turtle.refuel will make it refuel. If it's unable to do that, it will sleep. I'm actually pointing to sleep right now. But if it can refuel, um, it will get the fuel level. It will turn that into something. Uh, okay. Actually, it might just be easier to show you. Okay, let, let's, uh, let's go like this. Uh, hang on. Keep refuel. There we go. So now it's running. This slot over here is where it will try and get fuel from. If I place one there, it will refuel from it, and then it will say how much fuel it's gotten. So if I just did that, it will refuel from that whole spot, and keep going, and so forth. You hold down Control t for a few seconds, it will terminate the program. Very easy, pretty quick to uh, put together. What? Bit buggy there. Um, anyway. Uh, so yeah, that's just kind of the whole idea behind that. I'm, I just wanted to make it easier for myself. Uh, now I did find a little monster dungeon, but the turtle took that out as well. Why does this seem so loud to me? I'm not sure. You guys are probably saying it's like, eh, it's not loud. What are you talking about? You're drunk. Um, and then you'll probably say something along the lines of give me your keys because you guys are smart asses, eh? Hmm, hmm. But um, in order to mine out this whole area, it probably took about 8,000 fuel, or about 8 lava buckets worth of fuel, and I filled this thing up with like 30 lava buckets, just because I was that kind of person and got really bored. Uh, yeah! Okay, so over here, let's just take this guy here. Look at that. Beauty. I don't actually have a way to get up without this bucket, so I don't really want to lose it. But, you know, I just found one of the lava pits under the ground, and got out me lava, and everything was fine in the universe once again. Um, that always trips me out. Huh. Anyway, so I am going to get some stuff ready, and I will see you up top. Okay. So I'm going to be making a few of the engines. I have been looking at some of these other ones. There's magmatic engines which require lava to run. Um, they seem kind of cool, but I don't know whether or not I kind of have the resources to run it yet. Uh, yeah. I don't know. For now, uh, I'll just be using what I do know how to use. So that would mean this. Uh, I'd need some of that, one, two, and three. I'm going to be needing a lot of wood. Uh, all my wood is in the other place. And some of this. I'm not sure if I should be making that many, actually. Oh, no, I'll, I'll be using them eventually, I'm sure. So let's just go over here. We'll go get my... I left that open, didn't I? I could have died. I could have died, you guys. <gasps> oh no. Um, so across we go. 
over in yonder. These things don't seem to disappear because of this, well, these set of wood blocks, which is kind of annoying. Not gonna lie. I'm surprised that these haven't grown, oh, yet. Um, that one apparently had. But I'm surprised that they all hadn't grown yet because of how quickly they usually grow. I'm assuming it's got something to do with the water, so... Or maybe it's just because we're in a taiga biome. Is it taiga? Snow forest biome. Extra biomes. Okay. So that goes there. I did chop down some wood earlier. There we go. That goes there. And voila! Let us make a whole bunch of this stuff. Cobblestone. Am I... Oh, I have the wood around the wrong way. Okay. I'm gonna need to go back and get some more. I'm gonna get some more cobblestone, rather. <sighs> Excellent. Um, Alright, so another stack, because we are obviously running out. Um, that goes there, that goes there. That goes there, and this one goes here. And, oh, I did have that around the right way. Excellent. So look at that, 49 pistons. Excellent. Uh, after that, I am going to need uh, some more of this stuff. You eventually kind of remember a lot of the recipes for random things. Um, i make one more. One, two, three, four. Then surround that with cobble. That makes stone. And pistons go there. Then we need glass. Then we need more cobble. Excellent. <laughs> so all up, only five. But, you know, that's fine. That is completely okay with me. Because look how slowly this thing's going. This has been going for a long time. Uh, now what I could do, actually... Hmm. I don't know, I want to clear out a whole little area so that I can have a temporary base of um, operations to, you know, set all this stuff up, but I don't know where I want to put it all. I could fill out this. That could be kind of cool. Hmm. Give me a second. Okay. So, I've actually borrowed Josh's program for creating platforms, because I am far too lazy to create it myself. Um, and, you know, why reinvent the wheel when it's already created? Uh, so, I'm going to be turning this little area into a temporary processing area. And that is how the magic is going to happen. Why aren't you continuing? Josh, your program broke. Uh, you ran out of resources. You need to, um, you need to fix that, Josh. We'll just, uh, we'll, we'll just pretend that that didn't happen and pick you up. What I should have done is just loaded him up completely with dirt. That would have been great. Uh, oh. Not to worry. Not to worry. Um, one, two... Platform and length of platform, length by width, uh, say 15, yes, by one, two, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, by seven. Ah, oh, damn it, I forgot to feed it items. Damn, I just lost some dirt. <laughs> so it moves forward one every single time because it doesn't understand. Um, oh, well. we will just try and fix that in a second. Um, yeah, here's hoping that it doesn't do it again. Uh, right, so we'll just fill in this anyway. Uh, so. We're going to be getting into some cool stuff soon, hopefully. <laughs> um, may I, m my eye, my idea behind this 
is that we'll, we'll actually move this completely. Um, these pickaxes don't understand what this block is. Uh, my idea is that... I don't even know what my idea was now. <laughs> it's useless. Just give up. You, you're trying to... you're beating this thing to death now. Um, why do you keep placing the block right there? Okay. Right, you. Come here. I want to keep that filled because I don't necessarily... Why do you go up one? Silly thing. Oh good, it fell in there. <laughs> For a second I thought it just um, fell down the hole and that would have sucked. Uh, and there's still a lot of water down there. That's okay. We'll leave that alone. Now, um, how do we want to do this? Because there are a few different ways that we can try. Um, we can hook it up so that items that can be processed directly go and get processed and if they're not the right kind of item they go into there that might be one way to do it um, hmm, we've got redstone we've got some glass that'll be useful let us get rid of the dirt because we don't need you anymore um, and let's craft right so the first thing that we're going to want to do is get out some gold and I do have some I keep forgetting to close that up. It's a very dangerous world out here. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Getting sidetracked. Um, two, three. Now, we have this gold here already. That means that we can just put it straight in there. Pulverized gold. It came from our copper. Nothing quite like an old style furnace. Um, now, one and two. First of all, we're going to need a wooden pipe, so let's just do that first. Wooden pipe done. Um, take you out there. Then we're going to need one of these guys. Well, one set of those guys. And then, let us see. Okay, first of all, we need at least... Hmm. You know what, let's turn the whole lot into that. Uh, and then these guys, let's turn the whole lot of that into that too. We'll just get a whole party of it going on. Right. Now the reason why I've done that, uh, pray tell, is because of this. Now these guys aren't going to connect together, are they? No. Ah, booger them. Okay, don't worry about it. It's fine. Uh, what we can do is hopefully just... Uh, why do you always do that? Why do you do that? <laughs> okay, uh, since it's temporary, doesn't matter. Now we do need some more of something else. Uh, we need a wrench. So that goes there, then we surround it with cobblestone. Then we need some iron. Did I use all of the iron? I did, didn't I? Um, yeah, no, three is enough. Alright. So pop that in there. And then with that done, uh, the magic of editing, it's great, isn't it? Uh, we'll grab out our nice lovely wrench. We can wrench all these guys to being the right direction. I'm going to pick up this one because it's got nothing to attach to. Um, I love that they try and bounce away until they can find a place where they can sit properly. Uh, it's kind of hilarious in its own way. Right, so now cobblestone, and we can go like this, grab out a whole bunch of levers, because I seem to always lose mine. Uh, then we need some coal, which I can't wait until I can stop wasting this stuff. Um, then you, then you, then you, then you. Now, I could actually do this the smart way, couldn't I? Yes, I could. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting there, guys, trust me. 
It does take some time, but we will get there because we have the technology. We just don't want to spend a lot of money. Um, so right along there. This should work. Keyword should. Uh, so level like so. Oh, look at that. Beauty. I'm not completely sure why this one doesn't work. Maybe they just need some time to heat up. Um, but right now they're kind of useless until we get out our pulverizer and a nice lovely furnace. If we go like this and then put that side by side, see how we've got some stuff over here uh, where it's got like yellow, blue, and then a whole bunch of other random stuff. If I say like to the right should be orange, all the output stuff will go from here into the powered furnace, hopefully. Um, actually, if I put you onto the other side, sorry, I'm just, you know, having a brainwave. Um, if I get this guy here, then this guy there, then I can tell the powered furnace to have its orange one there. Everything else can be off. And... No, you don't go like that. Anyway, um, right, and then the pulverizer, change that one to orange, the rest of them can be off, off, right. Now we'll try and figure out which one goes into here, so the top, oh this slot is blue, okay, so that's good. So everything that should be coming out of this one, out of the output slot in here, will end up going into here because that's where its input slot is, and then the output slot of it goes over here, then hopefully we can set it up to go over here. That should be easy enough. Keyword should. <laughs> right, uh, so let's get out some iron just as a, oh actually we'll finish off the copper first. So copper ore goes there, let's turn these guys on. And let's see these guys power up. Oh, look at that. So much faster. So, so much. Um, this guy will just end up charging until, you know, he can't take any more energy. That's not a problem. Uh, but hopefully. I've never actually done this before. I'm kind of just going off what I've seen other people do. Um, and I haven't really been paying too much attention. But as far as I know, this should work. Oh, look at that, you little beauty. Uh, I don't know why that only turned into one. Oh, that's right, because one disappears first. Like, if it's being used and is cooking right at that second, it will disappear and automatically go into there, so that's fine. Ah, uh, isn't it nice when things work? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, uh, blah, 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 blah. Not completely sure why these guys aren't working, but they're probably just being lazy. <laughs> ah, this is nice. Okay. Uh, now from there, we need some more pipes. Do I have more pipes? I don't believe I do. That's okay, because we can just put some cobblestone right there. Take that out. And one, two... Oops. <laughs> Didn't really want to um, make that stuff fall out like that. Okay, there we go. So we've got four. All that will end up going to here. All of its magic. Look at that copper ingot. Ah, lovely. Now, can... This is just kind of an off question. Um, can copper ingots be used to make bronze in this version? Um, oh, yes, they can. Okay. Because sometimes they need to be uh, the dust, so I just thought I'd find out. So all of that is working nice, fine, and dandy. Now I just need to make it so that we've got infinite, uh, what's it called? Trees. Infinite trees, sure. Um, so I could set that up over here, actually, if I wanted to. But I don't want it to break out the rest of the area. Decisions, decisions. Hmm. Uh, I just learned a new trick too. Okay, so I created a hopper, hop, 
Per, one of these guys where you've got the iron ingots around the side, it looks kind of like a funnel, stone gear, and a chest. And if you go over here and change the top slot to blue, it'll make it so that it will keep refilling your items. It, like, it pretty much works the same way, except you get to choose where you want your items to come in from. This is brilliant. <laughs> like, I honestly don't know why I didn't use this before. It's so good. Um, now, I'm not quite sure how I want to deal with this problem. Pulverized ferrous dust. Uh, what I could end up doing is having another hopper here and having things pop into there like that, but I'm not completely sure. Maybe I'll just leave it there for now. Envar blend or ferrous ingot. Ferrous ingot is used for nada. Invar blend is used for invar ingot, which is used for invar gear, which is used for nada. <laughs> wow. What a journey we just went on. Uh, so let's just pop you in the chest. Now, we're getting a little bit more iron, a little bit more diamond. I don't know. I, I want to wait to set up the tree farm until later. Um, until we're actually, you know, have decided where to put it, but I suppose leaving, like, putting it, or setting it up in here wouldn't be too bad. I just don't actually know how high I can go here. Because it's my understanding. Oh, maybe not. It was my understanding that we were... Uh, blah, 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 something. <laughs> I had an understanding at some point. Um, that we were really close to the top part of the land, but I guess not. So if I set that thing up in here, <laughs> with these guys attached, uh, I should be able to get a whole bunch of more, well, a whole bunch more resources. Hmm. Could be. Could be. I just think it's cool that you can have more than one slot with, you know, inputs. Um, for example, I don't know what that slot does. No one tells me, like, on the wiki, I'm looking at it right now, uh, it doesn't say what the non-coloured slot is for, so maybe that's for over here? Possibly? Not sure. Not sure at all. You seem to be slowly decreasing, despite the fact that you're getting tons of power from these guys. Huh. Who knew? Who knows? Maybe it's just like it's capping point. Not sure. Not sure at all. But that's not the point. Uh, yeah, so I don't know whether or not I want to end the episode here, make it a little bit of a shorter episode. Oh, except it's not even a shorter episode at all. It's at about 27 minutes. So I'm going to do a, a lot more stuff off camera. I'm going to see how much more stuff I can get set up from in this little area. Um... I'll probably go over that way and set up trees and then maybe I'll go up that way and set up a farm and well we'll we'll see how we go. Anyway, I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching. I hope that you've, you know, enjoyed this episode somewhat. Uh and I will see you guys next time for a lot more fun, hopefully. With this texture pack, there have been some people that are just straight up against texture packs, which I kind of understand but you know I'm gonna get sick of this eventually so just bear with me for a little while okay um it's just yeah the water it's a little bit hard to tell where it goes anyway uh yeah so end of the episode hope you're all having a fantastic day and I will see you guys next time